Hey yo. Hey yo. Yo, today's gonna be fun, man. Already got a few people sliding in with orders. What? Five. Give people a chance to roll up, roll in. Checking all of this. Check this multi-stream chat. I don't know who's popping up and anything. We got packs for days, man. Yo. It's too lit, man. Too lit. Let me chat, let me know. I start seeing some people showing up. Start the cracking. I got for Luke on the startup. I think Luke had some before. Pop off that. Got these commands, checking the store. I talk about that. Yo, let's go, Souls One. Very good. Good to see you. Good to see you very much. Let us start the show. Thank you so much. How you doing today? It's almost the end of 2020. It's my last stream for 2020, no matter what. I won't be on tomorrow. I'm fairly sure that I am not streaming on, on Friday. Just letting it be known. New Year's Day, I'm usually around. I want to pull you the Pika for sure. Gotta ask for someone real quick. Right. Well, Gogurt, Carolis, Stone Energy, Fan Fee, The Skull, Electrike, Pineco, Mudbray, Coding Energy, and a Dialga. Not the greatest start. But we got five more. So, after these, if I don't pull it, I think I'm going to start a counter for, um, for Rainbow Thickachu. Packs opened without it. I'm 514 with before this. So I'll be 520 packs without pulling. Ooh, that's a good one, though. I love this card. And a Shrifty. This is pretty good. Can't, can't ask for too much crazier. Well-centered. Usually these aren't as well-centered. Nice. Nice. Right. 
friends can be tough. You know, that's the thing I keep saying about Vivid Voltage, right? Just going forward and looking at it. Any set to me that has value in green card codes, right, in green codes, is always going to have some level of just, like, long-term success. I think it's good as, like, they don't make every set like that, too, right? It's like you make, like, some sets better than others, you know? Because there's still people who are going to like the other stuff, too, you know? Like, Darkness of Blaze is still a great set. But, like, having that, like, mid-tier nice little value is really good. Ferrothorn, Riolu, a Sandile, a Whalmer, a Weedle, Beldum, a Rockruff, and Full Art, just a regular Drapion V. Halfway through your packs, thank you again. I still got lots. If we're not, you will keep trying. I'm trying to like stay stocked up, you know, on like all the stuff. And f although this is the first stream I've had where I don't have Evos in stock. I've been like, I got a bunch coming in the mail, but they didn't get here. I was excited that my hidden fate showed up because boy, boy, that didn't happen. Yo, how about that? You hit two amazings in in four packs. So all your green code packs had an amazing. That's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. Zacian one is not as impressive in terms of like grading. But if you want to collect the set, it is a card you will require. VV, little vivid voltage. Winden Stadium, Zeb Striker, Milsery, Galarian Meowth, Chimicho, Blitzel, Slugma, and an Electric. Last pack, Magic, Magic. Let's see what we could do. Darkness energy, stone energy, shuckle, paramarant, weedle, talo, sandile, oshawat, pineco, exedril, and an electros. Okay, so not the best, not the best. Not the worst. Not the worst, for sure. I don't think you can go too crazy with, uh, you know, as far as it goes. Two amazings. My hair is far, far from gone, tabletop. Far from gone. Good to see you two. My hair is gone this way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, nah, my hair is certainly still here. We're a long way from cutting that. It will happen. I'm gonna have. Like I said, I'm gonna start a counter. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna make a really cheesy one right now. Let's add a source. Uh, text. They have a counter. They have a counter thing. Open the yard. Game capture scene. Uh, okay. Pikachu counter. Okay, so. Okay, so. Okay, so. If you thinking I'm in love, but you had the wrong 
Fuck a blood coat sign and a you know. Background color red. I, I have no outline. All right, outline size one. Uh, what do we do? The font, what font color do we use here? Big font? No, it's that's too big. Font style, text, color. Okay, let's make it black. Done. Oh. No, no, no. Let's move this. Let's fix this. Outline color will be white. That looks like shite. Uh, let's fix that. I won't leave it like that. So I pulled now 520 packs of vivid voltage between YouTube openings, personal openings, stream openings, regular. And it's crazy. I can't. I can't count Volt Tackle because. I pulled it. I didn't pull this myself, but I got it with uh, on my friend stream. So that this doesn't re, but it doesn't count. the The pull rate on this is way less. It, it, it's way easier to get this than it is for the um, for the English game. In English, in English, that pull rate is insanely hard. I've also seen the regular Pikachu V's really popping off. Really popping off. I heard something like one in a thou, but I, I can't confirm that. Pull, any pull rate data, because you hear the person like, I bought six packs and pulled three! You know what I mean? Like, the Rainbow Charizard VMAX, I've heard differences in pull rates, and like, super different. I'm trying to remember to stay hydrated during the streams, man. You don't realize until you do it when, when you're talking. Just like, how crazy it is. I am looking for English Pikachu, like, heavy, heavy. You know, and when it happens, I'm gonna go ham. People were enjoying the uh, on Instagram. They were enjoy. Y'all listen. By the way, I cannot wait for my beard to grow back. Between you and me, man. Speaking of how I look, yo. Speaking of how I look, so for those who don't know, which I'm gonna assume is all of you, I used to play hockey, right? So like roller hockey. So I know how to skate, and. Tell me how I'm yesterday. We go ice skating in, Pros in uh, Brooklyn, right? Masks all, all on, right? And I'm teaching my niece and nephew how to skate. And tell me how I hit a chunk of the ice that's, like, cut up. Because, you know, public rinks, it's like, those things are slashed up. And I land. And right before we went, I taught my niece and nephew how to fall. I was like, what you want to do is you want to fall. You never land on your wrist or your head. So guess who lands right on his wrist? This guy. Ow. Straight agony, man. Straight agony. You find your, uh, your package, Mr. Luke. Your other stuff. Get that in for you. You guys got plans for New Year's? The one thing to know is I'm probably low on um uh sec not secrets uh amazing rares now in my packs. You guys are gonna excite. You guys are gonna like my next video. So if you've noticed, I haven't upload uploaded as much lately. I've just been streaming. That's because I'm really prepping out a lot of content. Uh, I'm going into a video. I'm breaking this. I'm breaking this open. Pull this right out of a slab. I also am getting um, 
uh, a few other CGC cards. So I've heard from the pipeline that um, that's fair. I mean, well, if your plans are to stay home, that's still plans, right? It's like if you're like some people may be spending their um, their uh, their holidays on. Did I get my payment for the grading? Probably. I have some payments I'm regretting. Which card again did we send that grading? I got a bunch of stuff. You remind me that I know exactly because I know because I've sent once I get payment I send it I put it I give it straight to the person who grades. I see him almost every day. Or I I could drop it off at, at like a middle area almost every day. CKO's got a bunch of stuff he's sending out for grading. I know everyone's over watching Michael right now. It's all good. I keep my sketch. And if I go a half, got a, maybe 30, 40 minutes without, that's fine. Without any packs, that's fine. I might just crack a hidden fates for myself, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to get high on my own supply right now. Yeah, it's always important uh, I write the internal notes. Let me make sure I have that. The uh, I can search for. PSA. I'm unbelievably happy I switched to, a, to use a website for this. Just makes things like so simple. Yeah, Green Shadows are complete. We have the promo from Charlie DB and the reverse hollow Pikachu. Okay, so yeah, I don't. I, I have those. I do have your. Um, the reverse hollow Pikachu. I have those cards set aside and in, in things. But I haven't sent them out because there were none. Did it not go through? I know uh, CKO said there was like an issue. Like his bank was like they 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 like held some funds, but I haven't gotten any. I got a new order. Is that? I'm assuming that's yours. Commerce orders. Dude. <laughs> Uh, well, I hope y'all enjoy Vivid Voltage. He's got a fat order in. A fat order in. Oh, man. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What can you hit? The English, the biggest hit in the set by far is the English version of this, right? The Rainbow Pikachu, which in a PSA 10 is going for well over a thousand dollars, like well over a thousand, and Raw is going for a solid 300. There are tons of good hits in the middle though. Well, if you see right at the bottom of the screen right here, this. It says packs open without a thick at you. One, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Right, 
let's double count these, make sure we have enough. One. I mean, I, I, I have plenty of involved one. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, empty, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Boom. Let's do this. We have thirty packs of vivid to get through. Thank you so much. It means everything to me. And you for your continued support and I hope you pull I hope you make it happen. Water energy, Dusclops, Electric, Char Millionaire, Sand Isle, Sidit, Pick a Peck, Mudbray, Joltik, Whooper. Ooh, okay, a V Max card to start off with. An Orbital V Max. Not a bad start, not a bad start. I really want to see you get. Also, uh, Rainbow Nessa is really good. The re the alternate art Pikachu V, the non Rainbow Pikachu V Max. There's lots of sick pulls and vivid. All the amazing rares are very good. One, two, three, four card trick. Steel Energy, Alistair Matang, Kakuna Matata, Pick a Peck, Pushena, the Rukruf, Blitzel, Skidoo, and a Swoobat. The set's gonna go down. It's gonna go down really well in the future. Just very popular. It's like a nice change of pace from the champion's path that came before it, which is like, what can I pull? Well, you if it says if you pull a Charizard from the regular pack, you hit the nuts. That's it. Uh, no, I would just tell you how much you have at the moment. Um, you can kind of tell with your account. You know, the only way for me to be able to do that would be manually. And the rare is a Regirock. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Regirock, Regirock. Both rares. If you ask me, though, like if you send an email through the website, uh, we, that should be enough. You made an account. I can just, I can just tell you. Steel, League Staff, Charmeleon, Pentron. You can also message me on Facebook. I check the Facebook messages all the time, and I would be more than happy to just get that information out for you. It's all right. It's all like right here. Also, if there's anything you see me pull, it's like a common that you're like, oh, I really want that because it's cute or something. You, I could send you that too. Psychic Energy, Loudred, Memory Capsule, Gogurt, Mudbray, Slugma Balls, Crying Wismer, these eggs are cute, a Woobat, and an Aromatic Leaf Energy. Hey, CKO Breaker in the chat. 30 packs of Vivid Voltage. Oh, yeah, if you just tell me ahead of time, like, you'll save any bear Pokemon, I'd be like, yeah, Woobat. Wind on Stadium. So the counter at the bottom that you may have now noticed, right? Is current before these packs. So for Rainbow Thickachu, we are... If, unfortunately, we do not get a hit on these 30, we'll be up to 500. Woo! Alrighty, there we go. That's the that's the set, one of the best ones. So this is an amazing rare Rayquaza card. Beautiful, beautiful card. I really this is one of this is my second favorite amazing rare. My favorite is Celebi, but that's only because I'm biased towards Celebi. Uh, maybe a little bit of the centering, like more here this way than that way. As far as it, still in the still in the realms, with like no silvering on the edges. Still might be in the realms of PSA 10. So, with that, I will put into a penny.
for the great rocket. That's a nice head elevation. Let me put it into the semi ridges for you. If you choose not to get it graded, it will be sent to you in a top loader inside of the team bag. But if but I do this because in case you want to get this graded at PSA, I send it just I, I literally hand this to the guy as as like this. Yeah, that's a really cool card. It's also a good card from what I hear like in the game. So like that has like potential to keep like the value of the high quality ones in case people need it at uh like like pretty higher like the pop will be substantially higher all right back to the package as we chase down thicket shoe yeah i'm unlikely to be home friday night so friday night stream is um i don't know if it's gonna happen normally i like to really stick to the sketch but I don't think it'll happen this Friday, which is fine. I'll be back on Monday with, hopefully by then, all of the uh, Age of Slash there. Hopefully all of the Evos that I ordered come in. I sourced a bunch of Evo packs from everywhere. Couldn't get them in for today. Everyone locally was like, yeah, we're out. I'm like, oh, that's fun. I hope that I'm able to continue sourcing them because otherwise what will have to happen is in order to get them, I have to pay more, which means I have to charge more. And I'm, I'm enjoying charging $10 for an Evo. I think that's the, I think that's the good point. I pay eight. Just so, you know, wondering like when I'm buying these packs off people, once you like apply like fees and discounts or whatever, I end up making like 30 cents a pack. <laughs> But, I enjoy it. And the content that comes off of Evolution's packs, you have no idea how worth it is to me. Dusclops, that was quite a beauty. Shuckle, did it any day, Robert Oshovat, Skull, Pharisee, and the Skull with a Galarian Berserker. Onward we go. The hunt continues. Steel energy, Nuzleaf, Opal, a B, a Beldum, a Blitzel, three Bs, Skiddo, my kiddo, high EV plays, and a Lucario. Moving and grooving. Yeah, I was going to say, like, so, like, even if your plans are like, I'm just going to sit. Well, there's going to be green codes. There's going to be white codes. To be fair, in this set, you can get a, you can get an amazing rare out of a green code. So it's like you can get a, a green code pack would be significantly better than a white code pack if you have like a, even, even a V card. There's usually two and well, there's like one in 18. That's usually the rates for amazing rares. C dot. Metagross and... Yeah, see, like, this was a white code pack. This is way worse than a green code pack with a, um... With an amazing rare. All the amazing rares are at least five bucks. And I think that, similar to the Cosmic Eclipse uh, packs, they're, um... They're, they have, like, high upside. Like, those full arts. Like, there's high upside in the long run for these amazings, especially for Celebi and Jirachi. Very popular long-term Pokemon. Slug my balls. Crying Wismer. These eggs are cute. Woobat. Uh, n just ask? No, Ninja ask. And a Togekiss VMAX. Nice, nice. Not the great nut. But if anyone saw my, one of my earlier videos on this set, with, uh, in a box, I opened the box, I had like five Togekiss cards. I was like, I hope. Uh, the person who sponsored that box likes Togekiss because that is our fate. Our shining fate. Hidden fate? Hidden fates? Anyone? Leaf Energy, Exadrill, Mag Cargo, Nessa, Rakaruf, Blitzel Skiddo, Ferocid, Dedededende. Mag Cargo. Oh, also, you can get a reverse Charizard in this uh, rever green in reverse rare, and it's that's worth a lot. And a Flareon.
Leaf Energy B. Do what? Do what? Do what? 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 Drillbur. Wilmer. 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 Cottony. Flabopus. Electrike. A Nuzlocke run. And Toucan Sam. Lightning energy. Electric. Kuna Matata. Lauda de Red. Pushiana. Cute little Charmander. Chateau. Joltic. Cottony. And an electric. Next pack, water energy, sewn energy, electric. Yeah, it is electric. How do, that's how you pronounce it, right? Sand Isle, uh, Olaf, Pinecone, Clefairy doing the Macarena, Tynamo, and a stone energy. And I'm not the biggest Don fan. It's a pack going everywhere. I might remember everyone. They had red. Wellow, League Staff, Charmeleon, da 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 Drillbur, Oshawo, Dooskull, Pharaseed, and a Swell Bird. Yo, this is looking as though this counter is about to go up, and I'm not trying to have that happen right now. I tell you right now. You know... So next week, right, sometime next week, I'm going to have a bunch of my old streams that I did. They're going to fall off the books. For a while, I was streaming both COD and this, and then I decided to, listen, I'm going to go all in on cards. You know what I mean? I'm not that interested in streaming Call of Duty. First of all, it, does, it takes up way more bandwidth, right? So, like, just in general, it's not something that really, like, excites me. So, like... I'm gonna hit I'm gonna get a sub button though, because those streams did nothing, and these ones tend to have a few more viewers, thanks to wonderful people such as yourselves in chat. Right? What? We've already decided that my last name is Pompa, right? P-O-M-P-A. We've already decided that the name of the emote is gonna be Pomp Champ. The question is what is the emote gonna be? And I want it to be fire. You know what I mean? I want it to be something that could be that could go fit for like whatever you're watching, you know? Joltic. Weedle, Kalo. I am not the biggest Don fan. And woo, okay, okay, that's good. We got Waifu, Waifu, Full Art Nessa Trainer card. A solid hit for sure. I'm gonna do a quick little check on this one. I know the rainbow is probably a lot more. Well, this is crazy talk. I don't know if this is, like, legit. It's pop one. It was only one, right? But a PSA 10 of it sold for $600. So, oh, wait, no, there's another one? Yeah, no, this is, like, a PSA 10 of this, multiples have sold for, like, over three, $400. This is a solid hit. I don't know what'll happen if you do a slow grade, you know, and by the time it comes back, I don't know if it'll still be worth that. But it's probably worth it to put in a slab elevation. You know what? Let's uh, do a little analysis right though. So the um, the centering on this one looks like we got a little, like a lot more here than there, which is certainly unfortunate, right? Might be a nine. The thing is with cards like this, centering is like fine metal. Yeah, it's like not super well centered in the front, which is like a slight issue. However, like these cards, like these like trainers, these like female trainers, they have the waifu effect. And like in the long run, they probably have like a nice solid like value to hold on to, I tell you right now. This is uh, this is also the first time I've seen this regular one. It's just, this might be a very good one. So uh 
I don't necessarily, um, I'm like, you know which service I would use for this. Like, it's probably snail mail, you know what I mean? But in terms of just slabbing it, it's probably just going to increase value even at a nine, you know? So even if they give you a rough grade for centering. So I get this thing into the semi rigid for you. So this one is probably a solid one to choose to put into a slab. I would, I would personally say like if it was my card, I would send it out, which is all I think anyone who gives advice on anything can honestly say, you know, it's like, what would you do if it was your card? And I would say, I would slab it. And I would probably take the slower service, but if you want the card back sooner, take the $50. But that's up to you. Probably better to just use the slower service for it. Lightning energy. Karaka Rock, Aromatic, Galvantula, Epushenya, showing his butt. Rock Ruff, not showing his butt. Blitzel, Skiddo Makiddo. And a Weedle and a crazy looking Clefable. Still no rainbow statue. Yeah, like B, Nessa, Misty, all of these, like, you know. It's got the Dark Magician Girl effect. You know, like, does anyone know like, what the Dark Magician Girl effect is? Where it's like, people just, like, love how, like, sexy the card is. You know, just keeping it a buck, you know? People love, like, how, like, like sexy the card looks to them and it makes the card have more value there's never been a good dark magician girl like in terms of playability but they're always popular how many packs are left as far as like how many packs do i have left in stock or how many packs are left to be opened up here kakuna matata and a janisek the answer to your first question is nine if it's how many packs are left to be opened how many packs of Vivid Voltage do I have left in stock? Probably better to just go to the website to get you that answer, no? I'll explain shipping in one second for you. I have 21 packs of Vivid Voltage left in stock after this. Okay, so the way it works, shipping. To be opened up in this order is nine. So, um, the way shipping works is, is you open up packs with me in the order, and then I put all of your hits into a team bag with your name on it. I'm just going to pull one person's team bag or whatever. I'm going to pull a couple of different things, right? So here's this guy, uh, CKO. He's known. We have a lot of cards from him. I have to send out a lot of his stuff. We were going over like what's to be graded. Uh, you can build up as big of a queue as you want. All of your cards are kept together. All of them are secure right here, right with me. And you have an account on the website. As soon as you hit ship my stuff, I will take all the cards in your queue that are to be sent out, package them, and the same. And then the next day that I'm available, available to go, I send it all out. Five dollars for any amount of cards. If you order, if you leave your queue up for a year and you end up a thousand dollars. You know, a thousand cards, I send it out. If you want me to send one card, I'll send you your one card. I recommend people tend to, you know, let the queue grow a little bit. That way they get a better... The more you wait, the better a deal you get with shipping. However, the more you wait, the less the cards are in your hand. Now, if you order a graded card from me, right? Say that you order a card that is, um... Like, the, say you will use the grading service, which I do offer a middleman service. I could take your card straight from here and send it to be graded through my middleman processes. Uh, when those cards come back, I tell you, we on stream, I tell, I'll usually inform you by email that your card is back and you, I can either give you the grade or we could do a grade reveal on the stream. Thank you very much, Tabletop. Appreciate that for the order. But if any of that doesn't make sense, let me know. But it's just, it's, once you hit ship my stuff, I send everything that's in your box, in your queue, for sent out. I got a bunch of people here who's got who have their packs that they're just waiting and as soon as they want their cards you hit ship my stuff it goes out and usually like right after the stream anyone who hit ship my stuff i package it before i go to bed i wake up in the next morning drop it off at the post office and move along i have all the label making here you'll get a tracking number like pretty soon after you head ship my stuff all right continuing the packaging 
a Trumbeak, a Cedo, an Electric, and a Clefairy, a Fanfi, a Yanma, a Galarian Berserker, and a Bag of Poo. Nothing too fantastic there. Yeah, when you order packs, there's no shipping charge on the pack. The pack is considered a service, right? I'm doing the service of opening you the packs. I keep the bulk. It just makes sense, honestly, from both sides. Where, like, these, like, commons, they, call, they get way heavier in order to ship. So I would have to charge people a significant amount more in order to, if they wanted the bulk on all theirs. And also, it would lead to much more confusion of, like, whose bulk is whose. It would slow the stream down. So these bulks... They're here. They usually just get sent to a store that does whatever with them. You know, and if there's a card that you see that you really want, like say I'm opening evolutions and you're like, listen, I really want the Pikachu cards. I'd be like, here you go. Enjoy them. I'm not I'm not hoarding the Pikachus, trust me. They would all just end up into the hands of some vendor anyway. But in terms of getting all of them, it doesn't really make uh, a ton of sense in either direction. Woo, okay. That's a pretty good hit. It's not the biggest hit. But as far as regular rares go, it's by far the best one you get. Still Charizard. That Charizard really uh, stresses the stretches the limits of great all Charizards. As far as code cards go, uh, I put them up. The VODs are available. The VODs, even when I uh, hit affiliate next week, VODs will never be subs only. VODs will always be on YouTube. VODs will always be everywhere. The codes last, I put them in a box, and on the first of the month, I scan them. If they have not been claimed, they are just sent out in bulk. But they're available for anyone who wants to take them. The only thing I hope is that if you do open them, <laughs> I can't stop anyone who wants to, uh, you know, sell the codes. It's fine. If you want to do that, that's fine. Uh, if you do open them, post on Instagram or tag me on Twitter or something like that and show me what you opened if you opened up some fire. I trolled my friend the other day, he loves Ampharos, and I was cracking some packs on the Pokemon TCGO. So I pulled the full art Ampharos, a card I have also yet to pull, right? I opened the full art Ampharos, and <laughs> he's like, I got it. And he's like, oh yeah? Uh, the queue, I don't have like an automated system for it to go. I could just tell you like when you're next. I could just go into my orders and tell you where you go. You're, you're, putting, you're putting next in line. Like at the moment, there's a few people ahead of you. Uh, if you're Sterling, there is one who... I'm doing one, and then there's one person, one person, and then you. So there are... You are three people away, and we are almost out of that. Yeah! I have your order. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you. And if you have not already, hit the follow button. Otherwise, you'll be having to dig me out if you do not order your shipping right away. So it's uh, recommended that if you could, and if you have not, I don't know if you already are. Which that uh, Streamlabs would show me that. Oh yeah. Yeah. In the pile of sometimes I get it. Yeah, I think I remember saying thank you for following. But... I appreciate it. And I hope you get what it is you are hoping for. And I don't look at what orders you have. Don't tell me what it is until we get there. Because that's, like, exciting for me. Like, when I click the order, I'm like, ooh, this person ordered that. You know? Unfortunately, I don't have any evolutions in right now. Which is, I get the most excited for evolutions. But I get, like, equally as excited for hidden fates. Vivid Voltage. What, Vivid? Oh, the packs? Yeah. I'm guessing you have... I'm, I'm gonna guess you... Don't answer it, but I'm gonna guess it's Shiny Starvy. So luckily we hit that Nessa, otherwise these were um, not the best Vivids. But the Nessa, the Nessa, honestly, like if you get a high grade on the Nessa, and they're going for what it says, that what the last few sales have went for, the um, that's honestly pretty good. Oh, nice, nice from from champions, right? Yeah. 
that set is like it's so crazy when you're opening champions path you just know you're it's like betting on a number it's like you go you walk into a casino and you bet on a single number it's like you know that odds are the odds are like so stacked against you so you're like all right whatever but then you hit and it's like what just happened you know so like it's really yeah so like continue showing the shipping process is like i'll take the team bag here and i'll put your name on it and i will put all the cards to be sent to you into the team bag and i won't seal it i have another one i'm going to consolidate them later and i won't seal it until i get a ship my stuff and then i will send them out oh uh, yeah i would say you have four cards to send out i want i would send out the rayquaza alternatively you could also if you really want to wait you only got one amazing that's crazy there were we opened six packs of vivid before and there were two yeah yeah i would say i would say the the evolutions of our pikachu this this and i would say send those and i would just send them the 15 day service now remember psa this has nothing to do with me Please don't rip my head off this is psa the quote-unquote 45 day service is currently taking about 10 months to get them back if you have very little patience and you want your cards back faster i could you could take the other ones they are more expensive not my call i if i don't work i don't work for psa i just work with metal people that send the cards out and i another thing with me when it comes to grading i handle all the paperwork i handle everything i've sent out five figures in PSA cards. I've graded a lot of cards in my life. So you want to just, you just, you want to get your card graded. You just send it to me. You just tell me the card you want. I put it down and we send, and I send it out. You don't got to fill anything out. You don't got to do any paperwork. It's all handled. It's all part of the price. The CS1, everything is included in the price. Mark, this is fulfilled and move along to the grade. Yeah, I gotta get up to get little vault tackleage and a little vivid voltage. So for those who don't know, well, I'm gonna give you the longer number, right? Like you could say nine. Like I could tell you nine. And you very likely may get your card back in nine months. But I don't want to... But I would rather promise long to people. And then be wrong in the way that people are more excited. Than be, than be wrong by telling them eight or nine. Which might happen. I don't know. PSA hired more staff. Maybe they'll cut this queue down. They're gonna Maybe they'll go nuts as soon as the new year starts. I don't know. But if I tell you that it's going to be ten months. And then you get it in nine. That's an exciting like surprise. You got your card earlier. And if I tell you it's eight, it's going to be like, where's my card? Where's my card? Where's my card? And it's going to be, I don't know. Where's my card? I don't know. Where's my card? I don't know. You know, so it's like, to me, it's a better experience to just tell people a little longer. Just know what you're paying for. Know what you're getting into with PSA right now. Hopefully in the future that changes. Awesome. Thank you. So, Volt Tackle is the Japanese version of Vivid Voltage. And we're going to try to summon Rainbow Thikachu. There's so many, like, random cards that are supposed to be sent out to be graded. Like, look at this random card to get graded. Let's try to summon it. <laughs> yeah. Woo! So, the alternative art, Age of Slash V. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. Let's get you in a focus. It's a nice age slash. I don't know if it's like grading like for much. I don't know how much age slash is like the most uh, popular card, but I do like the alternative art. I love the alternative Alakazam. I haven't seen that card though. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Japanese bulk. I might just do a thing where I just like send out Japanese cards. No codes, of course, for Volt Tackle. Oh yeah, I gotta update this. Well, not bad. There we go. Properties. 
Thank you guys for stopping by. I know you guys were enjoying another stream as well. A good friend of mine. Means, uh, you know, we're not in like, Twitch is a weird thing like compared to YouTube where it's like this, it's like you ha you're just like naturally competing, but it's like I never will find, I never will feel like I'm competing with my friends, like Michael, but it's, uh, it is nice to know. So yeah, you said you sent the grading fees out. Now, normally, um, those will like stay unfulfilled for a while because when I ship the cards back, it's, I'm going to put the tracking on that. I just have to write in the, uh, in the notes, what it is you got. I'll probably take care of that right now because it's a lot easier than forgetting. All right. Vivid Voltage. Yeah. You're like, yo, I just paid my grading fee. Where's my card? I thought you had to put it through the machine. That immediately slabs your card. Oink. Darkness energy. Karaka Rock. Delmise. A Rocky Helmet. Whooper. Galarian Meowth. Cottony. An Aracuda Barracuda. Ninkata. And a Tarakian. Not great. Not great. Are we going to 552? Or will the streak be broken at 551? This is a white code to let everyone know. Shoop it, the poop it. Ferrasid. Joltic. Pinecone in. A doink the clown. All right, not excellent. But we are happy to have opened some packs for you. For you. We are vibing. We was doing so good like last week. Caught us making out in the back seat. You were One day what I will learn to do though is um alphabetize these so it's a little easier for me to find. I guess I didn't think I was going to have so many people. Excited to be cracking packs. Oh yeah, I remember you. You had the um, you had the War of the Spark. I'm thinking about doing a blitz of that. I recommend following the Facebook group. I'm thinking about blitzing Japanese War of the Spark. So if you don't know what a blitz is, is where I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to open the packs. So all the packs will have to have been claimed prior. Oh uh, yeah, I will. I'll send. I'll let you know. The um, but you want to follow the Facebook group as well, the Box Break Network. Just look it up. Uh, the, there's the link should be in the cards below if you're on. I know you're on. You're on YouTube. Um, but I put like information. What a blitz is is you have to. I won't start opening any packs. Yeah, and the Dreadheart Arcanist too, which was good. The uh, you want to like you want to send all all the packs will be pre claimed. There'll be five dollars a pack for uh, War to Spark. I was thinking about doing six, but I think that's that's a little crazy. Five dollars a pack, and then we just open packs. It's I set aside. You have all the packs are set. So prior, I'm gonna put all the packs in Ziploc bags. So uh, Poker Rev does this right. And it's just open, 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 go, open, go, open, go. The only cards I'm going to stop the opening for, I'm going to sleeve the good stuff, right? Like, quick sleeve the, first, the good stuff. But the only cards I'm going to stop to talk about are going to be the good anime walkers. All right. The Great Loop. At it again. Trying to break the curse. With five VVs. Pull this back. The goat. Can the curse be broken? Is the card even in the set? I've seen my friends pull it. But not me. Pack five, five, five. Okay. Fighting energy. B and Jurafarig. The Moo Moo Cheese. 
Whalmer, Dynamo. These eggs are cute. Chateau and an Alistair Black. Five, five, three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a, like a little counter with a hotkey. I used to use it. Uh, you could use it for like, uh, like there's lots of different things you can use, and just every pack. Doink. VV, why you being so bad to me? I just wanna see a thicky. I just wanna see thick at you with me and you. Oh yeah. You know what's the amazing thing too? It's like I'm not even keeping the card. You want me to open Pika Art? There it is. 555. Pika Art. We're doing this one for the content. Please. Oh, green code. I was hoping it would be a white code. Psychic Energy. Anessu. This drill. Skull. Voltorb, Weedle, Drillbur. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. We five 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 was still a good pack. Five 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 was still a good pack. As we pulled a Raikou, good little. Some would even say this pull is amazing. An amazing rare Raikou. Nice. I have to check like the uh, what the graded amazings you're going for these days before I just say yes or no. I'm just gonna put this in. There. Just gonna see us won it. And a little. Now it is five five six. Yeah, for real. Well, you're going in with these amazings. I'm gonna have to check that. Zabit Striker, Exadrill, a high, a Nuzlocke run. Focus up. The Dende, pick up a Pecky, Shoe Toy, Ryotelu, Chimichimeko, a Fortress. I do love Lugia, but that was a Haka Lugia. Oh, VV, be good to me. Lightning energy. Do what, do what, do what, do what, do what, do what, do, what, do, what, do fairy. Whalmer. Tynamo. These eggs are cute. Chateau. Yan Mega. Get a jolt from my electrode. Alright. Doink, 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 the clown. What? For Luke. Thank you again so much for playing the game for me. It's only going to be that much sweeter when it happens, right? I just don't know like, how many uh, packs it will actually take in order to find that. But when it happens, we're going to go in. Yeah, I'm in whatever USA. Zip code don't wanna say. Can't remember the name. New city like every day. Got women flashing me when I'm in two lane. It ain't Mardi Gras. Out in Arizona, these wild cats wanna party. You would think I would have had it out already. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a new team bag. You have no idea how many team bags I have. Let me make it clear. You and your friends attend. 
But it's not really great content watching someone search for a bag. So let's just pull out another one of these. Double A new chick always answering. Got a girl in college station down in Texas, and one in Memphis who remind me of my exes. Ooh. But it don't matter where you came from, it just matter where you end up. If you end up with me, got a girl in Tallahassee in Miami. She really loved me, told me I should win a Grammy. Ooh. But it don't matter where you came from, it just matter where you end up. If you end right. up with me. Mark, these is fulfilled. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. All right. Shiny Star V. I figured that that's what these were. These are... So to tell you what these are, I don't know if you've watched any openings of these. This is the Japanese version-ish of whatever Shining Fates is likely to be. There is some real goodies in this. The best you could pull is the Shiny Charizard VMAX. That is the God hit. There's also God Packs. One was opened in the channel recently. But these are some of the best. Like, this is one of the best sets that I've pulled. It's got lots of, <laughs> it's got lots of great cards and it is extremely popular I, my sources of this are running low when i run out of this i don't know but i'm very excited for shining fates as are most people and i believe that i will be able to as i make your team bag for you you also get sent a lot of cards with this i send all the hollows out. Let's try to hit something good with Stonks. Alright. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got all the moves, baby. Hey, one minute. All I need is one. Yeah, show you that with me is a dog. Five hundred fifty-seven seven voltage. What am I? I gotta do something if I don't hit within a thousand, right? Like I should like give something away. Like I, I don't know. Zoom in. Sorry, stunk man. Mr. Rhyme, Hamburger Helper, Lightning Energy, Grap Locked, okay. Rillaboom, I think. That's a Marnie. Full Art is a Zacian V. And that. there's also uh, both Amazing Rares and Hidden Fate Style uh, Shinies. Shiny Vault. There's a lot in this set. Honestly, almost everyone who's opened this set has gotten something that they were happy with. Energy. Ooh, yeah, there you go. See? So that's in the Hidden Fate style shiny. That's a, what's that? the colossal, the, sh the smaller one. Forgive me for not knowing Japanese names too well. I apologize. To the fullest. Look at that wheezing! Look at that wheezing! It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen! Wheezing is- that's so dapper! Look at that! Dude, it's the cool- what is that, uh, Galarian wheezing? Ooh, okay! Got a VMAX. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, there's like, you're gonna get a V or a VMAX in like every single pack of this. 
Uh, let me uh, sleeve this. Give me your champion's path sleeve. I have a few. I have a few champion's path sleeves for sure. Yeah, that wheezing is like that's like this dapper looking wheezing I've ever seen. All right, third pack. Uh huh. Right. Mm, Win them stadium. Okay. An ice cube on his head. Yeah, but there's still some rare cards though in Japanese, right? Like this, I've yet to pull the Charizard. Ooh. I would like a God Pack in English though. A, a little hand, a hollow hamburger helper. The Japanese, they love their rare stuff, though. So, you know, like, the, like if you hit that Charizard VMAX, that'll be quite a show. Coffee. Okay. Fishing net. Colossal. No, I, I don't think so. We got a VMAX. Oh, man. That's a... Look at that hollow. It's like... A mix of like it's like a shiny Eldegoss V, and it's like a mix of like that's really nice. It's definitely te yeah, it's textured. Yeah, that's sick. But one pack left to see. Yeah, the God packs are like nuts. It's a really nice looking card. And these are all going to be super rare. These packs are pretty hard to get. I want to see you hold something big in the clothes though. Thank you so much. The order, as always. Japanese card quality is also like a million times better. Clefairy. A trainer. Ooh, escape balloon. Ooh, a shiny cube on the head. Yoink. Suicune, one of the greatest Pokemon of all time. And a centipede. All right. So that was those. That is Shiny Star V. You get lots and lots of cards, lots of hollows, Vs, and all that. Always some value out of it. But it could be a little bit of overload. You got like two like like Shiny Vault style. You got a VMAX. You had another like textured hollow and a bunch of these other cards. Thank you so much. And like I said, the way it works is these will all be set to the side. And whenever you want to have your stuff shipped out, I will ship it out for you to the address provided on the app. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Listen, if it wasn't for the packs that don't hit big, the, the, the ones that do hit big, they would not feel as special, right? All right. Ah, uh, yeah, I see that. So let's make sure we have this here. Internal notes. Pikachu. Reverse. Nessa. Full art. Uh, Raikou, right? No. Oh, Rayquaza, right? Rayquaza. Rayquaza, amazing. And then you said... Just for my sake, what was the other card? I, I, I'm gonna find it when I look when I look through these. But what is the other card that you were sending out to get graded from your openings the other night? Mister uh, Elevation. I'm just putting it into my internal notes right here.
story to all my old memories. Fake friends who would turn to cold enemies. If yo, jealousy was a new I have so many people with orders. I'm gonna have to uh, have like a five row. This a love story to my reality. Got real fans. I treat them like family. If I'm helping you, just know that you're helping me. I guess this shit was really meant to be. I guess this shit was really meant to be. In my city, I'm the god. In my city, well, thank you very much. Uh, for the man. In my city, I'm the shit. In my city, I'm the Um, if you follow all the other socials, like I said, uh, not to keep plugging them. It isn't about the plug. I don't, like, if you don't, like, follow me, it's not, like, gonna change my life in any real direction, but it's more that when I get new product in, especially new releases, because I tend to get them earlier than other people. How I do that, I cannot tell. But I do have ways. Uh, I would like the people who are regulars to get a chance at them first, right? A little, like, loyalty program, and the way that those get released to people is gonna be through... It's going to be released through those uh, met those means. So they're going to be Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, Patreon, if you're on those. Those will obviously get first, but that's whatever. CKO, are you still in the chat? If you are, give me a holler. Let me know. Be super happy to discuss a couple of things with you. Yeah, I gotta send these out to Gallo. Right, cause people want to see what's like on my table, right? Right, it was the Charizard promo, okay. Alright, so Rocky, we have this, this, this. Yeah, CKO, if you're in the chat, let me know. You've been playing with my heart, there's no excuse in ya. I just put my energy into my music cut to compensate for the idea of losing ya. But if I had a chance to change up all my ways, I would probably act the motherfucking same. When I see you looking at me in that way, I, I have all of these cards for you. But I want to make sure that the cards that I would like to talk to you about, um, grading. Let me message you one day. Message them. We can talk about that. I think that's some solid content. Fortunately, I almost was jealous when I was back being an idiot. Before I knew for an interview, I watched a lot of like two weeks ago. you baby i can see so clearly now i just need some space please don't you try to chase me you just wanna slow me down i wanna run away as fast as i can checking the vibes yeah i got so many cards for you cko man So if whether or not CKO shows back up, I'm gonna talk about uh, his cards. So we'll see if him getting them graded. Quick check of this. 
drunk. Uh, yeah, let's save that. It's been a minute since I called you mine. It's been a hell of a time. Check Load. They say that distance is long when you write in a song. And every memory take me back to the places we've gone. The clock ticks life away. I link in the I gotta make sure this person stuff like that. Keep place in the dark when I was far from home, a home far from alone. I'm so out of my zone. Can't get off of my phone. We go okay. out of control. I cheat Patrick Mahomes. You leave soon as I go. It's like I got a chaperone or another shadow. World War Three when we go to battle. I never knew what I would do without you. But I think it's about time that I figure out soon. Check my phone and it's half past noon. It's been a minute since I called you drunk. It's been a minute since yeah, Rocky, if you're still here, I have your four cards set like this. PSA 45. I'm just, let me make sure you did PSA 45. Very, very good, man. Very good. Never lose your sharpie. Fucked up 27 months are only getting me roughed up. Oh, I feel like love sucks since the world introduced us. Turn my heart to stone just like Medusa. You said you used to be used up. I think we got a prom, but we far from Houston. And I'm so NASA and she's so passive aggressive. I will mess with that. Question, get asked like 20 questions. Got no chance. See if he comes friendship. back in. No way I could mend this heart. I might as well. All right. For the exit. Oh, I feel like I just tripled my investment. But what am I left with? It's been a minute since I called you drunk. It's been a minute since we fucked things up. It's been a minute since I called you mine. It's been a hell of a time. It's been a minute since I caused you stress. It's been a minute since you got some time. It's been a minute, but it don't feel fine. It's been a hell of a time. A hell, hell of a time. Got you paid. Everything is perfect. These will be sent out with the next batch. Thank you so much. I think you're gonna get. Uh, I think you're gonna get a solid grade on this Rayquaza, which is really nice. Let, let's take a look. All right. I said I would grade these just in general. The long term, they're good. Back at 9.5 of this went for uh, 180, which is like a PSA 10. Last PSA 10 of Rayquaza Gem Mint sold for $600. Obviously, that's like first to market, right? These are the first people to get theirs back. But um, assuming that even if that cuts in half, if you get a 10, 300... Maybe gets a nine, maybe it was like 150. It's a really nice card, and I think they have great long term upside. But we've already discussed Nessa. We've already, and uh, Charizard V promo is all very good. Probably looking like, if, even if it's a nine, being at least 90 bucks, 110 bucks. Uh, if it's a 10, closer to 180. PSA 10 reverse Pikachu. Yeah, about 200 bucks. So if it goes for that. Yeah, we're all set. These are going to be put on the side with all the cards I have over here that are going to be sent out. All right. So thanks, everyone. Checking in, checking in. Great pack openings today. Great stuff. Surprising. Even though going up against the great Michael. Uh... I want to try to do something I've never done before, right? So for those here, let's see how I do this. Okay. Okay. 
So on the website, if you go to boxbreaknetwork.com and you go to grade my cards or grading services, whatever it is, whatever tab that I have, um, you're able to see what the options I offer. So for the 45 day, the current price is $15 and the 50 day, the $50 one is 20 day. On the page, it does tell you the estimated times to expect door to door, which means to the time I send the card to the time I get the card back, right? Expect a little more time if you send me cards to get graded. You can do that too. You can email me, you can message me, and I will tell you how to get the cards graded. And then you can send me cards you want graded. I provide the CS1. I do all the paperwork. I check everything out. Uh, sometimes there's an upcharge. These cards that we're doing here are not going to be upcharged. Which means that if you did like the too low grading service, you just pay more for insurance. It's PSA policy, not mine. I think it's crap, but whatever. Um, the five day is currently eighty five dollars. The two day is one hundred and twenty five dollars, I think. So it's all on the website if you want to see. What, so when you open cards that are worth it to get graded, often what people do, because otherwise you have to get the card back from me. USPS touches the card once. You have to send it yourself. USPS touches touches the card twice. They have to send it back. PS USPS touches the card three times before it goes, or even that. Just the USPS touching the card a bunch, and there's a bunch going on, right? There's a lot more like doing it yourself. Like you're saving no money because unless you send bulk, you're not you're going to pay more money doing it your way, right? Just doing it on your own. You, of course, can go through other metal men, but then you got to put it in the mail. It's like, I already have the card right here. And I send the card out, and the thing is, the people that I do it with hand the cards to PSA. They go every month, and they drop the card off by hand. The card never goes into PSA, into USPS's hands. If you've dealt with the USPS in these times, and yeah, they're struggling, sure. I understand that. It's uh, it's rough the, in these COVID world and in the uh, just Christmas and holiday season, especially with more people ordering than before. You don't really want USPS touching your collectibles because um, the slightest bit of damage can ruin the card. So you do it through me. Doesn't card charge too much. It's on the website. Make an account. You tell me what card you want graded. I make a note, I send it out, and hopefully you get it back in the time, you know? But my prices, I think, are fairly fair. I work with metal men to get people as low prices as you can get it. So I think I'm going to call it here if I don't have any more orders, which I don't think I do. All right, but I want to do something I've never done. Let's see how this works. I've never done this before. So I'm ending it here, and we're going to raid for my Twitch people. For YouTube, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe YouTube is just going to implode right now. But let's see what happens. And let's head along.